Hi, I'm Dom Kane, and today I'm going to take a look at Multitude for PluginBoutique.com. It's a clever little delay unit and does much more than just delay. So let's take a look and I'll show you what it can do. So this is Multitude. I've got to say it was a bit daunting when I first opened it up, but once you understand the basic layout, it really starts to make sense. So it's a multi-delay unit with four independent delay units along the top left here. Units A, B, C and D and a dry input signal above those. Next to these are basically step sequences that act as gates or triggers. So for example there are 32 steps along the top here and each one represents a 16th note since it says below this section here that the sequencer rate is set to 16th notes. So we know that there are two bars worth of steps on this page. To the left of the sequencer rate are eight page tabs which you can click through like this, offering 16 bar sequences in total. And at the top of the screen, you'll notice the little downwards triangles either end of the sequence, which you can move like this to change the length of the overall sequence. Now, as you can see, the input sequencer steps are all highlighted by default, which means they're activated to allow the original dry signal through. I've loaded up a track channel in the background, so if I play it now, you should hear it come through like this. Give me something, give me something to believe in. Now the same rules apply to the four delay units below the input stage, where for each step that you highlight and activate, the delay unit will be gated into action. Now in the centre left of the screen, you can see four page tab buttons here, A, B, C and D, which loads the lower half of the effects unit to control the parameters of each delay unit. These parameters include the delay settings like timings and playback mode, which can be forwards or backwards, and then the effects routing to be post or pre-delay, or feedback looping, which means the signal goes through the delay unit and then into the other effects and then back into the delay unit again. This can make for some really creative sounds. Next in the chain is the frequency shifter and then the distortion which has an included bit crusher and then a filter of various types including low pass, band pass and high pass and these can be set to 12 or 24 dB per octave and then some saturation too. Then next in the chain is the flanger offering the usual range, intensity, speed, feedback and amount gains. And then finally there are two LFO units here. As you can see the LFO units are colour coded orange and yellow. And under each slider around the whole layout you can see there are orange and yellow sliders that you can set to be in a positive or negative value like this. By changing these parameters, you're setting the amount of modulation this slider is getting from the associated LFO unit. OK, so let's have a play with some of this. We heard a track I had running in the background earlier, but I'll just play that again to remind us how it sounds like this. Give me something, give me something to believe in. Now if I start with delay A, and activate every step like this. Then turn up the gain of that, but bring down the gain of the input for now so that we can just hear the effect like this. Give, give me something, give me something to believe in. Now let's change the direction of the delay to be backwards like this. And then let's give it a bandpass filter, like this. Then let's assign the LFO to the cutoff frequency. And then we can set the LFO to one or two bars in length. And now that should sound like this. Now let's head to delay B and give a simple high pass filter and set the main delay to a one bar length
and we'll set it backwards and lift the repeat slightly now let's pan that hard right and then go to delay A and pan that hard left and now you start to hear how this delay unit can become really creative give me something give me something to believe in I am running, I am running, with no path ahead. Give me something, give me something to believe in. I am running, I am running, with no path ahead. Give me something, give me something to I am running, I am running, with no path So that's the basics of Multitude, and it's available via PluginBoutique.com now. Cheers, see you soon.